Alrighty you guys, welcome to today's video. We are actually getting ready to go down to our lower pasture and uh, do some trimming with the weed eater because we are getting ready to build a pit bike track down there. So yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's actually a pretty big, like, I'd say probably two acres, maybe a little more. So it'll be a decent sized pit bike track. Um, cool little futures going, maybe a little bit of wood style too, <clears throat> but some, some decent jumps for sure. It's probably gonna be wide enough for a quad even, so. It's going to be a wide track, but it's going to be sick. We're just waiting for my Bose sunglasses to charge up, and then we're going to go down there, and uh, yeah, we'll get like a little time lapse maybe. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys down there right now. A trail to get down to the lower pasture. I just want to show you guys, like, because this will probably like be a part of the course, sort of. But I mean, it is straight down this road. Like, that is vertical right there. And then uh, you got all this going that way, back up, but... That's a cool little trail. Um, it's going to be sweet. As you can see, it opens up down there. My dad did some serious mowing with the tractor last night. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go down there. Get you guys set up on the tripod and uh, get to work. Cruising the tractor. Look at that. That is vertical. That looks so sketch. There's no way you catch me doing that in that thing. Oh, my gosh. That is sketchy. And he's down. Check out this hill climb. Camera does this no justice, but man, this is steep. Let's see if I can. Oh, sliding. It's steep. We've been working on this stuff all day. Made some serious progress. Got like a couple trails in. Ripped out some trees. Yeah, it's it's going good. But this hill climb is like, I don't even think a pit bike can make it up this. This is like a legit hill climb. This is a big bike climb. Maybe if you start all the way at the edge of the property and just hold her wide. But yeah, I don't think there's a way. I mean, I can't even figure out how to like give you guys. Like this is flat, and then, so we're still flat and the road just drops. So yeah, it's pretty much vertical. But uh, we're gonna proceed to work on this tomorrow. Cody might come out and help, so yeah, stay tuned for that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be gnarly. We're gonna make some serious progress tomorrow, hopefully, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Alrighty, you guys, it's now the next day, and uh, we got something that came in for the pit bike. Check it out. We're gonna go ahead and get this sucker opened. I believe I know what this is. Yeah, I can actually feel it in there. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing open for you Alrighty, guys. Alrighty guys, I originally wasn't gonna buy this, but I figured, you know what? We're building the baddest bike on YouTube. How can we not have one of these throttles? So we just went, went ahead and ended up getting one. Check that out, look at the box. T-Rex, hand assembled, shows who hand assembled it, what date. And here's our uh, might be an issue. Oh, it's pretty long, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty long. Never mind. All right, let's check out our throttle. Where's how you open this thing? Blue vapor. Aw, oh, dang it. I didn't realize it was going to come titanium looking, but... Oh well. It's pretty sweet. Check that out. It was clean. Very nice. Very nice. It's fancy. It really wasn't the color I was going for. I didn't know that it had like the titanium hue in it, but you know what? We're gonna send it because it will match our sprocket bolts. So I think we're just gonna end up doing all our, all our titanium bolts in titanium and burnt titanium color just to match now the throttle. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this throttle off and uh, get our new one on 
and then figure out how these cables go and I have no idea what I'm doing with this single cable conversion stuff so yeah let's get it Alrighty, you guys, we got the T-Rex throttle on, and man, does this look good. But look at that, isn't that so clean? Shout out to T-Rex, super cool guys over there. I think it is a quarter turn throttle, which I didn't really want, but we'll see how it feels. I think it'll be good, it's snappy, look at that. Super snappy. Got the cover back on, you can see there's only one cable now. Now, a super clean setup, definitely the nicest Nicest quality throttle I've ever seen. Uh, but yeah, I cannot wait to ride on this thing with this sucker. Hayden said he will have the suspension done either today or tomorrow. Our wheels obviously won't be built. That'll probably be in like a week or two we'll get those built up. So this thing will be down again, getting the wheels built and all the, uh, the hub coated. But no, this is, this is coming together real nice. We have pegs coming from Australia the cleanest pegs I could possibly find. I think they look awesome. I think they're gonna really match the build. Uh, and then we need to order a peg bar. And uh, yeah, it's starting to come together. It is coming together. This thing is looking freaking insane. Alrighty, I'll probably see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna probably build the, tra do a little bit more work on those trails. Cody might come over and help too. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. That's going up the hill right now. I'm plowing it. <laughs> that thing is so steep. Things like vertical. Heck yeah. This is gonna be so sick. Look at look at how it's looking over here. Hang on, let me zoom out. I want to ride right now, even though the, it's not even like. This is gonna be bad. We need. So what we need to do is we need to get the quad out here. Really blast all this out. And then pit bikes and just -da 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 -da, you know what I mean? But no, this is this is looking sick. This is gonna be so much fun. God, I want my pit bike to be done. Savage. Guys, we just got back from Hayden's house, and man, this Serico looks so good. There's the cradle, looks phenomenal. We have our, this is powder coated, it's like a burnt bronze, super clean. Then we got our forks, satin black with our new caps on, those look sleek. And then he also Serico'd the brake piece, and man, that looks very nice so uh right now we got to go help gavin drop off the ranger to get uh some exhaust work done then we got to pick up grips because i don't know when our grips are going to be here so we're going to go get grips and then uh yeah we'll come back here and uh get to building the pit bike so let's go what are the odds we literally were about to leave i went in to check the front porch for packages and then fedex guy comes up and our grips are here. So let's go ahead and uh, get these open real quick. Yes, those are clean. Got them in gray. Those are so nice. So now we have everything. But we still gotta go up Gavin. So we're gonna go up Gavin real quick. And then we'll uh, come back here. 
freaking built the pit bike. We're not gonna have our wheels. So don't come at me for not having the black wheels yet. That's some pros, but within time, probably two weeks, I'm thinking. Two weeks, they'll be on. Hopefully two weeks from now, we'll have an exhaust ordered. But uh, everything else is ordered, so yeah, it's feeling good. I also just ordered some uh, Carly suspension for my truck because yeah, it's feeling really bad. And death wobble is near, so we gotta get that fixed before any of that happens and uh, we crash the truck, but uh, yeah. We're gonna go up Gavin real quick. All right, you guys, we are back from Gavin's now, as you guys saw the rollers. It looks pretty clean with the side exit. I like that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing all put back together, get it all done, and then maybe go ride a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, throw you guys in a time lapse. Get this thing done. Let's get it. Wow, you guys, this thing looks so good. Oh my, this thing's a neck breaker. The titanium bolts, oh. You know, the chrome wheels aren't looking bad right now. Don't worry, we're getting rid of them. We got the SM Pros in the garage. Just uh, Hayden's got Washugal coming up, so he's gonna get those all laced up once we're uh, once he's back and not so busy. But uh, thankfully he was able to get all my suspension out to me before Washugal. So uh, yeah, this thing looks good. Hang on, it's so windy. All right, we're back, but we got the BBR springs in there. Uh, we had Hayden get the uh, rear spring powder coated. It's like burnt bronze. He Cerakoted uh, this brake piece. It looks absolutely amazing. He did a wonderful job. Um, he uh, had the front forks powder coated. He uh, had this. He put the springs in, and then he also uh, he also Cerakoted my uh, cradle, which I do not have on yet. Cause I have a uh, pit bike and destroy peg bar coming for this thing, and some Matter Minis pegs. They make the cleanest pegs out there for these things that I have seen so far. But uh, yeah, they look amazing. Um, all I need is an exhaust. So all I need to order is an exhaust, and then all the titanium bolts I want. And the build is pretty much wrapped up. So uh, we have made some serious progress with this thing. Emptied our pockets, our souls, our hearts to get this thing done. A uh, whole lot of cuss words were exchanged today because this thing did not go together easy. Uh, it was not fun, let's just say that, but 
now that it's done, man, does she look good, and I am so stoked that I went through all that struggle. But uh, no, I think in about a week or two, the wheels should be done, the hubs will be Cerakoted bronze, and this thing will be done, done. Maybe not done, done, because I still gotta order my exhaust, and my truck be having issues, so I just had to order a bunch of parts for that, and yeah, my bank account's hurting, so we, uh, we're gonna be taking a break on spending money for a little bit, but we will be getting an exhaust for this thing. We're gonna go Pro Circuit. And then uh, we were gonna go Yoshi, but I really want the P3 heat shield that's carbon, so we're going that. I also forgot, we have the PCM covers with the bleeders. Unscrew those. See if can... You got your bleeder valves. Don't really know what you use bleeder valves for on a pit bike, but hey, whatever. We also have the stainless steel bolt from Pull Bolt, Pro Bolt. Blech. But no, this thing looks insane. We need to find a different bar pad cover and maybe get the bars re or something because they look rough. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start this thing up and go rip her around real quick and see how she feels. But uh, let's get some montage going for you real quick, right? Now. Alright you guys, well I did just go ride it a little bit and wow, it is a way different feeling. You can tell the rear wheels out there a little further. Um, the suspension, holy smokes is it stiffer. It is so much stiffer, which I mean it feels good. It's definitely going to take some getting used to, but man is it different. I tried wheeling, you got to yank up on those bars now. You cannot just like and it just pops up. No, you got to really yank on those bars. I can still wheelie it. Took me a couple of tries to get used to it, but man, this thing is sweet, you guys. This thing is gonna be so fun when we get that little pit bike track done. It is going to shred out there. All I need is that exhaust for that little more power, because she's a little low on power. The quarter turn throttle is pretty snappy, I think it's nice. But uh, no, this thing has come together so nicely. I am amazed with how far this build has come. It's, uh, it's crazy really is it's crazy but no this thing it looks amazing it's gonna look so much better once I get those new wheels and we lace up with those big uh, I forget who makes them I think it's Midas those new Midas tires yeah it's, it's gonna be gnarly but uh, I'm gonna go ride a little bit and I'll catch you guys after Alrighty, guys well that is gonna end it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed um, she is a little dusty she's looking uh tell I rode her but no this thing is sweet it's really starting to come together really starting to uh yeah I don't even know the words to describe her but man she is looking good I think uh we are succeeding on this build but uh yeah thank you guys for watching there's probably gonna be like an episode or two more of this build series um so stay tuned because if she is not quite done we do have a couple other things tricks up our sleeves for this thing but uh, yeah, other than that, it's gonna end off today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please smash that subscribe button. Every uh, subscribe helps and uh, I appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace.